Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to solve one very interesting rational equation challenge. It is 2 over x minus 1 raised to the power 6 plus x plus 2 raised to the power 6 plus x plus 5 raised to the power 6 and RHS is 1 over 3 power 6. We have to find out real values of x. So let's get started. As you can see the powers are even. Power 6 is there. So this cannot be 0. So I can cross multiply written terms. So let us multiply x minus 1 whole power 6 plus x plus 2 whole power 6 plus x plus 5 whole power 6 and right hand side I will be writing 2 times 3 raised to the power 6. Now let us use our substitution as the middle point of minus 1, 2 and 5. So I will consider this bracket equal to t. So x plus 2 equal to t is my substitution. So from here I will write x minus 1. It will be t minus 3. I will write x plus 5. It will be t plus 3. Now I will put this substitution to our original equation. It will be in variable t. So x minus 1. I will write t minus 3 whole power 6. x plus 2 the substitution t t power 6 plus x plus 5 substitution t plus 3 whole power 6 right hand side is 2 times 3 power 6. Now I, my target is to resolve this t minus 3 whole power 6 and t plus 3 whole power 6. So let us simplify using Pascal triangle first. So I will write our equation first t minus 3 whole power 6 or better is to write plus first then I will be writing minus whole power 6 then I will write only t raised to the power 6 right hand side was 2 times 3 raised to the power 6. Now let's focus on this part only. So I need actually the coefficients of expansion. I am going to write one general formula for a plus b whole power 6. Let's find out the coefficients. For power 2, coefficients will be 1 to 1. Power 3, 1, 3, 3, 1. Power 4, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. Power 5, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. And for power 6, which is required, 1, 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. So these coefficients we will use during the expansion. So let us club first and last because multiplier is same. One, second and second last, third and third last. And only 20 multiplier will be alone. So let me write a power 6 plus b power 6. This is with multiplier 1. Now with multiplier 6, I will write a power 5b plus ab power 5. For multiplier 15, I will be writing a power 4 b square plus a square b power 4. And last central term, I will write 20 times a cube b cube. So this is our expansion for a plus b. Once it is a minus b, then it will impact where b power is odd. Here with sign change and here also. Now I will write t plus 3 whole power 6 plus t minus 3 whole power 6. So these two terms once I will add where sign change is there it will be cancelled out and remaining will be twice. So I can write in place of a it is t in place of b it is 3. So let's put and double it because we are adding two times. Okay, a power 6, so t power 6, b power 6, so 3 power 6. Now 15 times in bracket a power 4, so t power 4, b square, so 3 square. Again I will write a square, so t square, b power 4, so 3 power 4, bracket close. Now what is left? This t power 6 is left in the LHS. So let's add LHS terms first. So I will be writing 2 times 
t power 6 plus 3 power 6 plus 15 times let me write 90 power 4 and then 3 power 4 times 15 this value will become 81 t square and right hand side is 2 times 3 raised to the power 6 one thing is missing that is our t power 6 so i will add t power 6 here also after this bracket now let us add t power 6 and this t power 6 so i will straight away write the equation 3 times t raised to the power 6 plus 2 times 3 raised to the power 6 so i will be writing 2 times 3 raised to the power 6 or let me put one bracket plus 15 times 9t power 4 plus 81t square bracket close rhs is 2 times 3 raised to the power 6 now you can see if i will take 3 common from lhs it will be cancelled out from rhs also so let me write here with common 3 so i can write from here 3t power 6 plus 2 times 3, 3 common from rectangular bracket, so it will be left inside the bracket, 5 times 9, so 45 t power 4 plus 405 t square plus 243, it is 3 power 5. And right hand side is 2 times 3 raised to the power 6. Now we can divide this equation by 3, both sides, so it will be let me write here divide by 3 both sides now i'll be having t power 6 plus 2 times in bracket 45 t power 4 this 3 this 3 cancelled out and it will be left power 5 plus 405 t square plus 243 and right hand side will be 2 times 3 raised to the power 5. Now only we have to resolve this. Just expand t power 6 plus 90 t power 4. Then 405 times 2, 810 t square. And 243 times 2, it would be 486. And right hand side is 243 times 2, 486. So we can cancel these two terms. Now you can see t power 6 plus 90 t power 4 plus 810 t square and right hand side is 0. t square we will take common out. It will be left t power 4 plus 90 t square plus 810 only and right hand side will become 0. Now I will write either t square will be 0 or this quartic equation will be 0. t power 4 plus 90 t square plus 810 equal to 0. So let us solve both the equations. Now I will write t equal to 0 then what will happen? t square is equal to 0 meaning is t is equal to 0. And t was our substitution x plus 2 equal to 0. So from here I can conclude x is equal to negative 2. So one real solution is confirmed. Now let us consider the second equation which was quartic as well as quadratic also. Quadratic in t square. Let me write that equation first. t power 4 plus 90 t square plus 810 equal to 0. Now let's find out using quadratic formula. So this is quadratic in t square. That's why I am writing t square minus b plus minus under the root b square. So I will write 90 square minus 4 times a times c and divided by 2a so 2 
t square is equal to minus 90 plus minus this value will be 8100 and this value will be 3240 divided by 2. So this difference if you will check it is coming out square root 4860 divided by 2. So t square is equal to minus 90 plus minus square root 4860 divided by 2. So square root 4860 is 69.7. So I can write t square is equal to minus 90 plus minus 69.7 divided by 2. And if you will check the values, it is coming out minus 20.3 divided by 2, negative value, most important, and minus 159.7 divided by 2. Because of both values are negative, we will say square cannot be negative for real solutions. Negative, so complex solutions will generate. So we will reject this solution as we are calculating real solutions only. So accepted solution is x is equal to negative 2. Let's check. x is equal to negative 2. I will put here. So I can write 2 divided by minus 2 minus 1 raised to the power 6 plus minus 2 plus 2 raised to the power 6 plus minus 2 plus 5 raised to the power 6. Now 2 divided by minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 raised to the power 6 plus 0 raised to the power 6 plus 3 raised to the power 6. So 2 over negative with even power it will be positive. So I will write 3 raised to the power 6 plus 3 raised to the power 6. So this will become 2 over 2 times 3 raised to the power 6. So I can cancel both 2 in the numerator and denominator. So it is 1 over 3 raised to the power 6 which is our RHS. Hence proved this is the only real solution for this problem. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.